Hey, how's it going teachers? This is Mr. Monsi Weiss bringing you another tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk briefly about Google Forms. Now I have already made a Google Form myself. This one is called Assessment Part 2, Linking and Helping Verbs. Uh, but what I want to cover today is how to upload Google Forms into a Google Classroom. Okay, uh, one tip that I want to give you all, uh, this is where I'm putting all my lessons for Unit 4. You should start getting used to creating the Google form inside of the Google uh, folder that you're saving all of your lessons to. So for example, uh, this is my unit or let me go to the main drive. This is my drive, unit four, lesson two. So this is where I'm saving all of my Google forms. And the way you create a Google form from here is you right click on your computer, click on more, and you'll see the option here for Google Forms. You can work from a template or create a blank form. I usually go with a blank form because I know what I want to do from the get-go, uh, but you can make a template and, and go for it for a template. So I created these two Google Forms. The one that I'm showing you right now is called Assessment Part 2. After I've done my Google Form, uh, I made sure that I'm asking for the student first name, the student last name, the student grade level, and uh, the student advisories. Then uh, I make sure that I give it a name here. So here is where I'm typing my name. Normally this is blank and it looks like this form title, but I call it whatever I want to call it. And I click over here as well because normally this is also blank uh, and it just says untitled form. So I want to click on it and call it whatever uh, I want to find name this file. And whatever name I write here for the file, that's how I'm going to look it up in Google Class. So let's go ahead and do that now. This is my Google Classroom, uh, my curriculum. So only I have access to this. There are no students in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Create Assignment. And I like to keep things consistently. So the same assignment that I, the same name that I gave this Google form is the same name I'm going to give this assignment right here. Assessment part two, linking and helping verbs. I'm going to go ahead and click on add over here. And now since I created my Google form in Google Drive, I'm just going ahead and I am going to go ahead and click on Google Drive. Then uh, I can type in that assignment here, assessment and see how I don't finish typing it. Uh, it already comes out here. Assessment part two, linking and helping verbs. And there it is. Now, another way to find it is going to Google Drive the same way. And you can click on My Drive. After you click on Drive, uh, it's very important, like I mentioned earlier to you, is to know where you're saving your files. So I told you I was saving all of my files under Unit 1, Lesson 4. So I double click on that. Right now, I'm working on Lesson 2. So I double click on this. And here is that same form as well. Uh, assessment part two, linking uh, and helping verbs. Now, notice how I only have one thing in here. It's important for you to only have Google, uh, the Google form as the only thing that you have here. Otherwise, the grade importing will not work and the grades won't automatically come to Google Class. As an example, I want my students to be able to read this particular text uh, while they are answering. So I'm going to click on add here so that they can click here and read the text, right? So they may they might need these questions, but notice how I cannot turn this grade importing anymore. So to avoid that, you just wanna have your Google form in here, but what you can do is go to your Google Drive and my text for what I want them to read is actually right here. And I'm going to right click on this file and get a shareable link. Here is the link in the bottom and you'll be able to grab this link by clicking shareable link. And it says here link copy to the clipboard, clipboard, which means it's in your mouse now. So I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to add further instructions and say, click on this link to view the text. And I'm going to create some space and I'm going to paste the link so I can go ahead and right click paste and there's the link. 
Now you can click on this eyeball over here on the top right of your screen. And this is what the students will see. As you can see, this turns blue for them to be able to click on that activity and they can see the text that you want them to see within the Google form. That way you are only posting the Google form in the Google class and they can continue answering these questions. I hope this has been helpful for you and as always, you've been Montified.